Well, we are in the hospital. And, uh, having a baby. <laughs> not having a baby. There's stuff. So, she got attacked by the aggressive hive again today, mowing. Um, but it was, she was not mowing near as close as she did before. She didn't blow anything on the hive. I think they just didn't like her being out there on the mower. And from what the nurse said, she has antibodies still from the last time she was attacked. So her body, you know, reacted in overdrive this time. Um, and a lot of stings on her head and uh, she was swollen up pretty bad. But it's starting to go down, swelling is starting to go down. And, um, you know, they gave her EpiPen and a bunch of meds. She's on an IV right now. And, and now we're just monitoring her. Thank God my mom was home and by her phone because she called me. Uh, there's an alarm going off on her thing. There it goes. Steph called me and said that she can't see. Her eyes were closed and uh, she couldn't call anyone and um, she got a hold of me. So I left work and immediately started coming home. I called my mom. My mom ran over there and saw her and grabbed her, put her in the car and um, brought her to the hospital. Thank God for him and Alexa because yeah, she, she, she used the Alexa device to to call. Hopefully I don't set off anyone else's Alexa by saying that. Um, but yeah, she's got the medicine there now. It's just monitoring. That's pretty much all it is, but uh, could potentially be here for 24 hours if they want to monitor her for a whole day just in case she doesn't have symptoms pop back up again after the medicine starts to wear off. So we'll see. But my mom just left and she is going to go get the kids from school. And uh, I'm here with Steph. So we're okay, but um, just kind of a, another bee scare. And you know, we're talking about what, what we're gonna have to do in the future. We're probably gonna have to, to put a new queen to requeen that hive because it's just way too aggressive and yeah. We can't, we can't not be able to mow around the garden and you know the back pasture without being attacked by bees. And we can't, especially in the heat of summer, we're not going to put a bee suit on every time we need to mow. So we're going to have to requeen that hive. That is the update so far. And uh, next time the doctor comes in here and checks on her, we'll see. See where it goes from there. I gave you a, a prescription for an EpiPen twin pack uh, for you to keep uh, in your car in case you ever have another allergic reaction. How are you feeling now? Um, I was like a little shaky, but I'm feeling less like jittery now. Mm -hmm. um, I. Okay, we just got our first update and the doctor said that she looks much better um, but he does want at least two more hours of observation so i'm going to go ahead and go get the kids from my mom so that she's not stuck with the kids and uh, get them situated and then hopefully be coming up here pretty soon to take stuff back to the house with a boatload of meds a boatload of meds and a prescription for an EpiPen. And a twin pack. Twin pack. Okay, that's that update. Okay. Wow, I'm I, I. checking out. Mm -hmm. Said she's ready to go, but we got to stop and get her some prescriptions that she has to take tonight. So. Just waiting for the doctor to 
unhooker mm -hmm. and then heading to get some prescriptions and then heading home and they can rest yeah because you cannot rest in the hospital yep um yep yeah, so i got stung in the back of my head uh, i i can feel and count about four air four bumps in the back of my head um they did pull stinger out top but i can't feel anything up there uh and then once on my shoulder i think and then once in my hand my hand's kind of purplish but um yeah i'm feeling a lot better and um i think i look a lot better i was like <laughs> marshmallow man yeah and we get to have uh epi pins on hand now because they said you did go into uh anaphylactic shock anaphylactic shock so that's scary yeah so i'm gonna look into immunotherapy treatments which is just a micro dose of venom for my body to like get used to it and not react the way it did um so that's kind of discouraging for me um, because one more sting could just send me over the edge now. So. Maybe the immunotherapy though will like you know build that back up. Yeah. Your resistance is. Mm -hmm. We'll see, but just waiting for the IV to get taken out, and then we're headed home. Okay, we're back home. Steph is uh, still with us. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not uh, gonna lie, when I hear buzzing, though, I'm <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a PTSD. <laughs> so yeah, I just told her when we pulled up to the house. I said, "Hey, I was gonna go just you know let everyone know that we're home and wrap everything up and maybe." film the bees a little bit and I was like I'm it's if you don't want to come with me that's fine you can go inside and lay down and she was like I feel comfortable going to the uh, chicken coop and maybe not any further because how dumb would it be if she walked out here and got stung again, <laughs> stung again. and we haven't you know that we they called in the prescriptions for the EpiPen and Feels things good. like that but this is good for you yeah. They called the prescription in for the EpiPens, but they weren't ready yet, so we went ahead and came home first. Um, but yeah, so I do want to talk a little bit about. I'm gonna walk over here. You want to stay here? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna stay. You start running. I'm gonna run. Okay. okay. So I wanted to talk a little bit about um, something weird that happened. Whenever I got home, so I went and got the lawnmower, right? She, it was over by the beehives, and I'll kind of turn around to where you can see the beehives. But she, the lawnmower where she had jumped off was over all the way to the corner, all the way to where the driveway is, and she had jumped off. She wasn't even. She wasn't even like super close. The hives here, lawnmower is way over that way, but that's where they jumped on her. So I went ahead and put the bee suit on and I got on the lawnmower and I was gonna just drive it back to the garage, but then I was like, I'll just finish mowing. You know, there wasn't a lot that, that, there wasn't a lot left to mow. So we finally had a break in the rain. I figured I'll just mow and uh, get it over with. So I start mowing and I have the bee suit on and uh, I get pretty close to the hives and I noticed that I wasn't getting buzzed, I wasn't getting bothered. They weren't even flying around me, they didn't care. So I thought that was interesting because I was closer than what she was when they jumped on her. So having the bee suit a little more brave, I just figured I would What? Is one buzzing around you? Maybe it was a fly. Maybe it was a fly? 
She's scared. I mean, rightfully so. Um, anyway, so I put the bee suit on and I, I just mow in front of the bees, not blowing the trimmings onto the beehive facing the other direction. I go in front of the garden, then I come back and do another strip closer to the bees and closer to the bees until you can see I mowed, I mowed right up to the bricks of the bees with the bee suit on. And then I pulled off to the, I pulled off to the side and I waited and I waited and I looked, wasn't getting buzzed, wasn't getting followed. It was, it was like they, they did not care that I just mowed right in front of them, but they jumped on her so far away. So that's weird. I, I don't know. Then I started thinking like, was she wearing a different perfume? Was she wearing a different deodorant? Like something that they didn't like, but she, she said she wasn't wearing perfume. I mean, she had just gotten back from the gym. She had deodorant on, but it's the same deodorant as always. So literally nothing different. It's just so crazy that they jumped on her like that and did not bother me at all. So I don't know, but we did talk to Pops, right? Cause we talked about requeening the one that we know is super um, aggressive and it's, oh, let me flip this around. So this one right here, er, doo -doo, this one right here, that one is aggressive. That one is the one that we believe is doing all the aggressive stuff with Steph. It's also the one that is falling apart. The boxes have started to um, fall apart. So we already had a plan to, we already had a plan to, to take that whole box apart and rebuild it, put all the frames and rebuild it. Talking to Pops about what happened today, he said that maybe they don't have a queen, which, Bees can act weird when they don't have a queen. Um, or, you know, they have a queen and it's just a super aggressive queen. And we can get a queen. Now we know, you know, we've got a new bee supply place about 15 minutes away from us. We can get a new queen, a gentle queen, and we can requeen it at the same time as rebuilding that box. So that's probably going to be the plan. So rebuild the box and requeen, but um, it's just so crazy how much they they did not care that I was anywhere near them. So I don't know; it's a mystery. Steph's worked with those bees way more than I have. Yeah, I've been around the bees she's been around the bees I don't know there was at one, one time Steph went to someone's house and took a, like a wild hive off of their patio fence and uh, like removed it for them and brought it home and put it in a box and it was a super aggressive hive and I was mowing the backyard one time and I got swarmed stung all over the back of my neck and shoulders but they never mess with Steph. So, I, I don't know. For, we, but you know, for, for all the years that we've been beekeeping, nothing like this has really, nothing like this has really happened. And definitely, she's never gotten to the point where she went into anaphylactic shock. She's had reactions before, but I don't know. Oh, I wanted to show this too. I got this for Steph today. I thought it was funny. It's like a, a dish rag, dish towel. It says, sometimes I wet my plants. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, Steph's had a long day. She's had a rough one. <laughs> she's she's going to pick some cucumbers and I'm going to let her go inside and rest. But uh, we're gonna get this video out. We're gonna get this video out. Um, you'll you'll see it tomorrow. 
because my mom posted some things on Facebook and um, I don't know who's all seen it already that she was in the hospital and we just want to get this video out with an update showing that she was okay and uh, everyone everyone that saw it and all the prayers thank you so much yes thank you so much and such a huge shout out to your mom because if she wasn't here I oh yeah promise you that I would be Okay. Yeah, I wanted to I wanted to mention that too. So you might know by now, but when I can when I can come home for lunch, I try to. And Steph always says like, you always show up at the the best times because I'll show up for lunch and she'll need me to do something and and uh, I can take care of it. And today I just I w I had a lot of stuff going on, so I was just gonna work through my lunch. I wasn't really hungry. And she messaged me and asked me if I was coming home for lunch. And I said, no, I'm probably not going to come home for lunch. Just going to work through lunch today. And then, and then that happened. That happened right after she messaged me if I was coming home from, from lunch. And then I get this call saying that she got attacked by bees from her. She's saying she got attacked by bees again. And she, her eyes were swelling up. She couldn't see to use the phone. Um, you know and i called my mom and she was my mom was there and got her to the er so yeah that that's a blessing such a huge blessing because i started i couldn't breathe yeah everything was closing down so i don't know what it, what, what would have happened if i would have had to wait minutes longer without someone taking me so kim literally saved my life i i believe that yeah but we're going to do the immunotherapy treatments and we're going to have EpiPens on us from now on. Like we're going to be prepared um, as a, a rude awakening to be prepared for something like this. But yeah. we'll be prepared from now on. I'm just glad it happened to me and not the kids. Not one of the kids. Yeah. So. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you. And uh, prayers. thank you for the prayers and thoughts and everything. And and. Uh, we are we're all good here on the homestead and we'll see you on the next one see you on the next one bye bye